Most people understand that the essence of body cleansing in general is to cleanse oneself from dirt that has been clung on our body all day. But have we ever spared some time under the running water to feel that body cleansing is more than just cleanse your body from dirt? For me, body cleansing is a precious moment of the day. Why would I say that? Because in the given time 24 hours a day, I can only feel it once. Not only my body become clean physically, but also spiritually. In this moment, I can be alone with myself and take my burden off for a while after a day full of activity. In this moment as well, I can feel that no one can interfere and bother me because I feel detached visually and audibly from my surrounding. No one can see nor hear me, and another way around. I cannot feel their presence since I cannot see or hear them. This is such a precious time for me where I can regain spirit and feel energized to continue the rest of the day. Then I wondered what kind of space that could give me the same or even intensify the result, which is detached, that I could only experience when I cleanse my body in the bathroom. Detached itself means separate or disconnected. In my case, the feeling of detached results in a positive way, where I can be free and enjoy my time alone. A few weeks ago, I chose the maskal and siraman as my very first precedent. I observed them, and I guess focusing on tamaskal over siraman is a good start. From there, I modified its ceiling, wall, and floor by making a model. I picked a few elements that helped me achieve the detachment. And for the final, I created this kind of spiral looking from top and bowl looking from front. Even though we feel like we're constantly walking without any wall interruption, suddenly we are arrived at our destination. Contrast is an important component in the designing process, hence I try to incorporate elements that are contradictory one another. And of course, it all back to visibility and audibility which are the measurements to achieve the ultimate goal that I aim, which is what kind of space that could give me the same result when I'm in the bathroom. After one three many proceedings, I decided to take Banasi House Museum Oval, Takashimaya Fountain, and Garden Maze as my inspiration. And from these proceedings, I take some of their fundamental to be implemented to my design. In designing, I chose round shapes. To be precise, it's oval rather than circle because it associated with the psychology of the people inside. Based on research, places with rotational symmetry would likely make people to have a panic attack and depressed, since they feel lost. It looked the same whichever direction they look. So that's why I guess oval could be the answer. Based on my own experience, I feel that the water found in Takashimaya can keep me private in an audible way because I can only talk to my family in a close distance. In this case, I guess it was 30 to 40 centimeter away from the ear. We needed to increase our voice as we get farther. Maze is an element that is as important as the other. In here, I can feel in what's so called transition. I modified the maze so it doesn't have any barrier, as we are more prone to feel depressed and panic searching for a way out. And by combining all of these elements, I added up with a space like this. This is the view from top, an exploded isometric view. And this is the section where we can see the difference of width in its wall. Here are a quick tour to feel the ambience. Narrow to wide. 
noisy to calm. Tension lessened, burden lifted. Feel alive for a while. Detached 